Russell Wilson going to try it again with a new head coach, but what's the thing that could knock that project offline? And Lamar's options for a deal are now in the rear view, but his options at receiver, we're going to put them under the microscope. And Joe Burrow, clearly one of the best quarterbacks in the game, but we've got a case that he might be the best at one aspect. Who doesn't love some good locker room banter, man? Shout out to Jamar Chase for, you know, holding it down for his QB, but <laughs> don't you ever disrespect Matt Mahomes now. If you want to talk your talk your pimp, just better back it up. Back up, you deciding to spend your time with us today on NFL Total Access. I'm Patrick Claibon here in the NFL LA Newsroom with you for the next hour as we continue our run through the AFC West today as everybody tries to catch the man that Travis Kelsey was defending there. That run goes through Denver as Russell Wilson and the Broncos are now a month and a day away from their first public training camp date in July under their new head coach, Sean Payton, who's got a bit of a reclamation project after taking over an offense that ranked 32nd in scoring in the 2022 season. For more on the Broncos, we bring in our James Palmer as well as Brian Baldinger and Baldy. Uh, Sean Payton's bringing a certain offense philosophy. How's it going to impact this team this year? Well, I mean, he's in attack mode. I mean, he's in attack mode, and he knows exactly how he wants the offense to look. That means, Patrick, if you're out in the practice field and it's not going well, like, huddle up, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's get it right before you leave the field. I mean, that's number one. Number two, he is maniacal about red zone offense. Like, nobody studies tape like Sean Payton. He wants to score touchdowns, not kick field goals. And he learned from Bill Parcells, critical situations in games, What's your play? Where are you going? What are you going to do? Be prepared. And so I just put together like a little game plan here for Russell and what we can expect because there's a lot of pre-snap motion. There's a lot of motion. There's a lot of uh, shifting right here as Drew Brees is basically the conductor of this orchestra. Uh, and once he gets the defense moved in a position he wants, then he's going to be able to attack, whether it's the run or the pass. In this case, this is just Kamara right up the middle. Just split him and hit him right here. He's going to see pay dirt in front of him, 40 yards. Uh, he's going to be uh, dancing in the end zone right here. That just opened up. But, you know, the quarterback's in charge of the run game. Make sure you get into the right play. That's critical for the quarterback. Now, off that run game, here's more motion. Free snap, right? Get the defense moving. Get their eyes resetting right here. Then go play action pass. Because the theme of this offense is you attack vertically. Now, this is Adam Trotman right here, who's now a Bronco. This could be him on... Sundays this year from Russell Wilson. It could be Greg Dulcich, a number of different tight ends on this particular play, but attack vertically down the field. And when you get into the red zone, Patrick, attack. This is all special four verticals right here. Let Drew Brees drop back, set his uh, back foot right here and let it rip. This could be Cortland Sutton. Uh, this could be Tim Patrick right here. It could be one of the tight ends. Like it could be any one of those players because they're going to be moving around throughout uh, throughout the day in any given Sunday as they prepare. And then any any part of the screen game is always up. It's a big staple of their offense. This just happens to be a three-count screen. Get three offensive linemen out in front. This happens to be Kamara. But this could be Javante Williams. It could be Samaj P. Ryan this year. You just start picking off these defenders right here and let the back find his own alley. Kamara was great at it. I think Javante, when healthy, can certainly do this. And we have seen Samaj P. Ryan do this in Cincinnati over the last few years. So, I mean, that's kind of the offense, kind of the staples of it. But, you know, Sean Payton knows exactly what he wants, and he holds everybody accountable on that offense. On that offense. Yeah, Bo, you talk about this entire offense and all the different pieces that Sean Payton is working with and how this scheme is going to make Russell Wilson more comfortable, how the run game will make him more comfortable. I also look at the pass catcher he was most comfortable with heading into his first season in Denver – and that was wide receiver Tim Patrick. I know we talk about Jerry Judy. I know we talk about Cortland Sutton in this offense. But if you spent any time in training camp last year, it was Tim Patrick who Russell Wilson was building his chemistry with when multiple coaches would tell me he felt more comfortable throwing the ball to Patrick than any other guy on the field. And he tears his ACL in August. And Russell Wilson has this abysmal season where he goes through the entire year without the guy that he was maybe most comfortable with, Patrick. So with Tim Patrick coming back off the ACL, expected to be ready for week one, 
I've had multiple people in the building tell me he is the best football player in that wide receiver room. He might be a bigger boost for a Russell Wilson bounce back season, Patrick, than maybe we're leading on. We know the scheme plays a big part, the run game helping out Russell Wilson, but Tim Patrick was someone he was really, really liking before the injury. Yeah, good to have him back. But if we're considering what else the Broncos have done to address that offense that had so many problems, where else do we look, James? I think you look at the both guard positions, Baldy. I, you know, it's interesting. Ben Powers told me this offseason, their big free agent acquisition to come in and play guard for them, that one of the big reasons he came to Denver was because of how Sean Payton values the guard position. He said, he told me really, nobody else as a head coach in the NFL really values our position playing guard like Sean Payton does. He said it had a big reason why Drew Brees was successful as he was. He believes it's going to be a significant reason why Russell Wilson's going to bounce back. With him and Quinn Miners, the young other guard, Baldy, that there's a lot of positive things coming out of Denver about him as well. That can change things up front very quickly for Russell Wilson after they gave up 55 sacks last year. You know, James, at one point in Sean Payton's tenure in New Orleans, they had, they had Jari Evans and they had mm -hmm. uh, the two highest paid uh, guards in the league at one point. Uh, and Jari mm -hmm. Evans is a candidate to be a Hall of Famer. He values those guards to set that pocket and set it firm up front. And, Baldy, you mentioned the red zone and where Sean Payton would like to focus during his run as the head coach of the Saints, number one from 2006 to 2021 in all of the NFL and touchdown percentage in the red zone, if you would like to duplicate that in Denver here in 2023.